Estamos aqui com o Felipe Costa, acabou de correr 40 minutos, tirou toda a roupa, foi no banheiro, se pesou, tem um quilo ainda acima. Então o Felipe voltou e eu fiz dele um iglu, ele está completamente tomado por cobertores e com vários casacos por dentro. Felipe, tá beleza aí, Felipe? Tudo bem. <risos> Tem um copo d'água. This is the night before the brasileiro. And this is the price I pay because I took the decision to never take any drugs to make me lose weight. <risos> Tudo bem aí? Tudo. Vamos tirar. Ih, não sei nem se vai ficar pronto. Caramba, olha a roupa. Also, unlike a major part of the BJJ players nowadays, I have also decided never to take any steroids to increase my performance. Just because the confederation doesn't test the fighters for doping, it doesn't make it right to use them. The way I see and the way I was raised, there is only one name for that, cheating. I would be ashamed to have even the smaller victory in my life rely on such a thing. I'm not a cheater. Are you? E dá até as gordurinhas aí, papai. Tem um gordinho. Ainda tem um gordinho aí, cara. Tem um quilo ainda aí. Não, deve ter o quê? Ai. Pô, mas lembra que eu falei que você da outra vez estava fraco? E agora você parece estar tá forte. Ai, é só impressão. <risos> Mas tá tonto, alguma coisa assim? Um pouco só. Tá um pouco? Foi uma hora e cinco minutos. Mais de 40 minutos de corrida. É. Vamos ver. Eu vou lá. For some reason, this time I was especially tired after the weight loss and my opponent was dragging me around the mat. Running back to the center full of energy. When we stood up again, I heard his friends yelling that I was already tired on the first minute. I got offended by that, but I shouldn't, because it was the truth. Anyway. I had to do something to prove him wrong. semi-final my opponent came respecting me a lot and with the strategy of winning by little. Or lose by little, not sure. But I'm more than okay with that. I read the other day something interesting. It's not necessary to play like a world champion every single time. Sometimes all you need is to be better than the person in front of you. So exciting performance, I advanced to the final, but ended up getting the second place. Silver medal was not what I came here for. I have tasted the gold in the Brasileiros. Feels good, but I can assure you, in the end, it's not really about that. It's about the experience and the friendship you make along the way. This is what I will take in my memory. 
When competition was over, I left to my USA tour where I visited different states from coast to coast. My first stop was in San Francisco where I visited and rolled with my good friends Caio Terra, Samir Chandri, Mateus, Magro from Uruguay and Robert from Australia. They also helped me to put up a seminar. JJ World was after San Francisco. I conquered third place and the record of the most bronze medals in this competition as a black belt, a total of six. Not many people stay for so long in top three in the category and the record comes to prove that. So am I super proud of it? Mm, no, not really, not right now. But I think in the future, when I look back, I will be. It's time to keep going. Traveling the world visiting my friends and students is more than I have dreamed for myself. This is the heart of a Navajo reservation. One of the most beautiful places I have visited in the world. In here is located the Red House Academy. A small group with great guys who besides representing very well the Braza name, they are also great friends of mine. Matthias, you look ridiculous. Got out of the question, so it's so good. Thank you. Philippe's got technique. You got no technique. Got out. Matthias, you can get out. Grab the girl's technique, but there's no talent. Matthias, put your Matthias, put your left leg like all the way, like uh, to the wall. Like you're back, you're back to the wall. Never mind.